Welcome to Royal Secrets. During the couple's royal trip, Meghan Markle confesses that her kid nearly survived a fire. But before we continue please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates. Serena Williams, the greatest tennis player ever, was the first guest on Meghan Markle's long-awaited podcast, which she started on Tuesday as the bride of Britain's Prince Harry. The 12-part series, titled Archetypes, a play on the names of the couple's oldest child, Archie, according to the Duchess of Sussex, would focus on the female experience. Women have been put into boxes for decades, we're going to live inside them and bust them apart," Markle declared. In the show, Meghan also discussed a time when she and her son, Archie, were on a tour of South Africa when a fire broke out in her son's bed, forcing the couple to leave their infant in order to continue their official obligations. At the time, Archie was meant to be taking a nap in the room, but his nanny had taken him out to buy some food. Everyone felt frightened by the situation, according to Meghan. Williams and Markle talk about the idea of being ambitious and how it differs for men and women. They emphasize their friendship and their shared Los Angeles heritage. The host refers to Harry, who makes a brief appearance early in the show, saying, I don't ever remember personally feeling the bad connotation behind the word ambitious until I started dating my now husband. And evidently, for women in particular, ambition is a bad, awful thing. Williams, 40, recently made it known that she intends to hang up her tennis racket after this month's US Open, bringing an end to a dazzling career that saw her capture 23 Grand Slam titles. In 2020, Harry and his wife abruptly ended their lives as British royals. They relocated to California, where they now reside with their two kids in a neighborhood frequented by celebrities. The pair revealed to Oprah Winfrey last year that their time working at the firm had been terrible and that they had encountered bigotry, including speculation about their unborn child's skin tone from an anonymous royal. Markle is biracial. The royals have refuted claims of racism. Many words have been written about how Harry and brother William, who may one day succeed to the British monarchy, have grown distant from one another. Fans of the Sussexes claimed that prior unfavorable tales about the couple had been published to deflect attention from the obscene charges when the internet was ablaze with conjecture about Prince William's private preferences in July. The couple has inked hefty contracts for television, publishing, motivational speaking, and Markle's podcast series, which is available on Spotify. Later this year, Harry is scheduled to release his autobiography, and Buckingham Palace is preparing for more unrest. Prince Harry discusses his unattainable but heartbreaking dream for Archie and Lilibet. Prince Harry revealed a terrible wish he had for his kids Archie Harrison and Lilibet Lily Diana. The Duke of Sussex traveled to Aspen, Colorado, on Thursday for the annual polo match staged to benefit his charity Centibale and generate money for it. Prince Harry participated in more than just the Centibale team, which won the round-robin competition on the playing field. He also gave a speech as the organization's co-founder, with a similar emphasis on Princess Diana. On stage, the Duke also shared an impossibility he harbors for his two children, Archie and Lily, ahead of the 25th anniversary of his mother's passing. My mother passed away 25 years ago this week, and she will unquestionably never be forgotten, he stated. I want this day to be a celebration of her amazing work and my admiration for how she did it. Prince Harry and Prince William, two of her children, have continued her legacy by supporting a number of the topics she was passionate about. The Duke of Sussex aids children and young people whose lives have been impacted by HIV and AIDS through Centibale and gives them the resources they need to succeed in the future. In Lesotho, where Harry had spent two years earlier during his gap year, after graduating from Eton College, the charity was co-founded in 2006. The charity was able to expand to Botswana after 10 years of fruitful activities. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates.